All right, guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. I'm Tony, and today we're going to be talking about how I just installed this Grow Watt grid tie inverter. This is the 3000 watt model from Signature Solar at my house, replacing the old style, which was amazing because these are loud, clunky, and give you no real information. They do work long term, the fans start to fail, they get too hot. They're not really a great option anymore. Not with this kind of technology coming out. You can monitor everything. Right now we're doing a little over 100 watts. This model, all right, is the smallest of the setup. It is transformerless, so I don't have to listen to fans run constantly. And it's kind of dummy proof. I mean, realistically, you got a Wi Fi dongle, your AC and then your DC coming in. That's it, guys, and it's a giant chunky boy. It is not light. Giant aluminum fins on the back to disperse heat, which is, of course, needed. Now, as you can see, my setup's not done. I have parts coming from Amazon still. When they get here, I'll do another video that will include pros and cons and one how I clean this mess up because this is just to get it in and working while I'm waiting for other parts to come. Now outside I have six GCL 285 watt panels. Rough dirty math is like 1700 watts. That's not near pushing this to its limit. All right. And Signature Solar sells bigger grow watt grid time inverters. This is the smallest of the line. So I've got four more GCL panels we are going to put in another location that gets more sun every day until I can get trees trimmed down. That'll be an upcoming video and we'll see how much it up, drags up or drags down the production throughout the day by having two different setups on one series string and how production goes up or down based on that because there's only two inlets here so we just got to series them all up. Now I'm going to go through the basic install with this. Please, this is not a reference. I'm just trying to give you the information you need to follow your own instructions based on your own equipment and make this work if it works in your area, in your location. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to be doing monitoring in the future, but you'll want to also check out our other channel, which is Wealth and Travel on a Dime, because when it comes to the money savings of this, that will be over there. My wife will cover it versus previous years versus previous equipment and just run through the numbers and how much this thing is actually saving us based on our usage. So let's get started with the install. All right, guys. So as you can see here, it's time to tear it down, get rid of the old stuff for a fresh start. So as I'm removing the power lines here. I want you guys to understand that generally I do this kind of stuff when it's dark. The only reason I did any of this during daylight hours is because of filming. Now, normally at night we have special lights we use for filming our YouTube videos. I just put them out where I'm working and that way it makes it a lot safer to be honest. Now, unscrewing these, the two outer ones I'm going to take to the shop and just check them out, but I think they're pretty much smoked. The middle one is still working just fine. I already took since making this video and blew out the fans and tested them and they are working just fine, but you can hear bearing rattle in them, which means they're short lived, honestly. Now my cooling system below will still keep that grid tie plenty cool enough and it's about winter time. So I'm going to try and do some testing with it with a smaller panel and see how it does and actually see the real world production that we get. Now, with taking all these down, I also have to take apart my homemade cooling system here. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's all USB. It's unplug it pop out the two screws. I will be recycling two of these in a future product, which will be a kiln that's gonna end up being 100% solar. It won't be huge, but it'll be enough to do a couple bundles of firewood at a time and quick dry them. So be on the lookout for that video coming up. But as I remove all this stuff, I realize how much crap is here and how much less I'm gonna to have to have once I get the new setup installed. 
Okay, let's head outside. And as I said, I usually like to do this stuff at night. But, of course, for filming, it's just too hard to film this at night. Now, what you need to know is, while these GCL panels were brand new, the reason we got them so cheap, which back at that time was about $80 a panel, was because the MC4s were messed up. So, what I had done is done the old stainless steel eyelet and stainless steel bolt through and then covered them with vinyl tape which is much like they do with mains on electric so this is just a cheap mc4 connector kit i think this makes the job so much easier if you're going to be doing solar at all you need one of these kits the ratcheting crimper there is just so much easier to use now what i'm doing here is i'm putting a female interior and crimping it on. Now I like to hit mine multiple times, you don't have to, but as you can see I make sure it's crimped on nice and solid, that's 10 gauge wire for those who want to know. And then what you do is you put the back butt on first, and then inside there's a moisture resistant rubber ring or nylon ring there, and it just pushes on, then you put your moisture ring on, and then you put your actual male end. So when you're doing a male end, you want to use a female interior and opposite on a female end, you use a male interior. So you push it in until it snaps. And once it snaps in, you push the rubber moisture piece in and then you put your cap on the back. Now they got wrenches to tighten those up, but I don't know if it's just my hands, but I can just squeeze that thing to the very end and you're not gonna get more, but there's the set ready to go. Now it's time to mount the grid tie guys. So I'm going to put this plate up. This is the hanging plate that holds it up. I want to leave room on each side for different things I'm going to be adding, but zipping these screws in and then I'll get the unit and it just actually hangs there with a bolt on each side to put in and that will actually hold it in place. I will actually be putting a piece of metal under the front of mine. All right guys. So we got it all hooked up. The first thing I want to say is I have not got the USB dongle thing to work yet. There's a pairing issue with the Android app. I'm sure I could quickly figure it out. I just haven't wanted to invest the time in it. Most of the guys say that it's way easier to do it on the computer, so I'll be getting that done and updating all that kind of information. But look at it and know that this is not done. All right, I have a DC breaker coming that has MC4 connectors. It's on the way from Amazon, but you know, sometimes some of the stuff from Amazon takes forever. So when it gets here, that will be installed. That'll give me a DC side. I have breakers at the box and the turn off here on the AC side. I think that's plenty of protection. Now, obviously I have to get a plate cover for this and a knockout to put it away. This will all be a closet later. So nobody's gonna be able to mess with this, but Green light's on, we're 100% good to go. As you can see, you got your solar in, your power out. Now, I'm going to put a drawing up on the screen. This came in from email as I actually messaged them because I was like, the AC outside only has three wires, boys. This is 220. What's going on? Did you guys send me the European one? They said no. I'm going to put their diagram up. I'm not telling you how to do it. It's all based on where you live and what kind of electric you have. All I'm doing is posting what they sent me and we'll leave it at that. Now, on the other side, I tried four times to get this to work. Only one way actually worked. On an American box, the poles intersect back and forth. I had two plugs here for my old system, one for either pole on the side. And I tried to hook it up that way and it said no. The only way I can make this thing work was I took a double pole breaker, which is a 220 breaker that hooks to each side, put the two L1 and L2 leads in it. And then the, obviously the ground wire goes to the ground and then it worked. So if you're having problems and it's saying like AC not connected or whatever kind of errors, that's what you have to do. Just run a stupid, and I actually I had another port in my box that I had plugged in originally and it didn't like that one. Go figure. 
but it has lots of you can tell it has lots of integrated features to where you can't screw it up all right so let's see what we got here we are running 1000 and about 80 watts out of a theoretical 1710 watts possible from the GCL 285 watt panel six of them now we will be adding four more in the future it's about two o'clock in the afternoon right now this has only been going for a very short period but you can see we've already made 2.1 kilowatt hours and then grid information And then you can set your parameters but I mean a thousand and eighty watts ain't nothing to shy at our meter when we are pulling electric in it's saying delivered and then when it says received then it goes the other way and other than when my wife took a shower earlier and the hot water heater kicked on we have been on received all day which means we're giving power to the grid. We're producing more power than we're using, which is the key. So no, we do not get paid for excess. That's not how we have this set up. The reality is I don't care if I ever produce and give some to the electric company. Everybody seems to be all like bent out of shape about that. I ain't worried about it. So we're gonna end up having a total of 10 of those GCL panels, the 285 watt version up on this property in the future. I've got four more to put up. We've got to get the location set up. Now, since this only takes one string, I will have to cook, hook them all into series. And then the issue with that though, is these are two different strings in series at two different locations. So if we start developing some shading or something, we may get some losses from this, but I'm betting that it's not gonna be like that. Now, when we Airbnb all of these properties, we will have to look at the numbers and see if we're still keeping up with our daytime usage. If not, I will be installing a second one of these in the garage with panels up on the garage. That way we can help offset it. The big thing I got to say about this that I love compared to the old ones, and just in case you haven't been watching our channel, you don't know what we used to run. These are what we used to run. All right, and these have fans and they are loud. And I mean loud. This is transformerless, no fans, shh, very quiet. It doesn't produce a lot of heat on the fins, but I mean, they're warm. But I will be doing videos in the future on the hottest part of the day, you know, when it's hitting it, and we will do temperature readings. We will also be doing shorts to kind of update you guys on how we're doing with this. And I want to check in like every six months to a year and really look deep dive into our production. Now, as we add up the money and the savings, that's going to be put on our other channel, which is Wealth and Travel on a Dime. Link in the description. If you want to see how much money we're actually going to end up saving with these, we'll be posting that on that channel. My wife will take care of all of that as she does all the money budgeting and the recording of those numbers, so she can bring them to you. But for what it is, I mean, Signature Solar took two days after the weekend to get the answer I needed to go forward. I knew what to do, but I wanted to check with them first about that AC plug. They got right on it, guys. I had no issues, very forthcoming. They're not gonna tell you how to do it for you, because you have to have some basic common sense and read the directions. But, I mean, honestly, it's three wires. Three wires, guys. And I got to say, I am very impressed so far. Let's see the longevity. I was getting about two years, year and a half out of these. These were 100 bucks. I think this thing is like 500 something like that. But I will put links to this down in the description so you can go over to Signature Solar, see it for yourself. They do sell it other places if you don't want to get it from them. But I would say that I think it's an extremely good investment and I'm very happy with it. Once you get through the initial, okay, how do I actually hook this up? But with that said, and if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't have by now, go down, hit subscribe, 
make sure you go down and hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos. Don't forget to leave us a like, leave us a comment, tell us what you think of this. Do you want to see more content like this? And are you guys grid tied or are you guys looking at it or are you looking at the off grid side? Cause we're still working on our system for that. And there's a ton more solar content coming. We've got to go pick up a bunch of used panels and we will show you guys about that. A lot more to come guys. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see it all. And with that said, I'm going to go have a cup of coffee and relax because I finally have this done. So I've earned a little downtime and I will see you guys in the next one.